So continuing with uh, some like seated um, uh, mobility um, stretches. Okay, so these are called dynamic stretches because we're not staying static. Okay, so static stretches are something typically um, we want to do after a patient has warmed up already. So these are good dynamic stretches that you can do uh, with your patient, um, kind of um, to warm them up for uh, other exercises or to just kind of help loosen up their back. Okay, so with this one here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna put it on the back of my head. My other hand here is gonna go ahead and it's gonna travel down my leg. Now it's important that you, you watch their posture so that they don't slump forward, okay? We want to prevent that slumping forward. Okay, so with this one here, we're going to go ahead, we're going to travel straight down the leg and back up. Straight down the leg and back up. Okay, so you may have some people that can go all the way down and touch the ground and come back up. That's perfectly fine. Uh, me, I'm not the most flexible person in the world. So for me, this is, um, you know, end range is here to start off with. Now if I were to do higher repetition, repetitions, then uh, most likely my range would increase and I'd get a little bit further. So this is why I usually typically will have them do about three sets. And by the third set, you'll see that your patient is able to go much further than uh, when they started. Okay, going to some more stretches later.